Hello everyone, I'm Ivan, and today I'm going to talk about Keycloak. And Keycloak is an open source identity and access management um, service that you can, it's open source, you can download it and use it for your applications. You can think of Keycloak as an open source version of Auth0, which you've probably used um, if you use a lot of applications on the internet, including ChatGPT. Anyway, here at Daytona, we decided to use Keycloak for our authentication uh, management. And so when you spin up your Daytona, you have to log into Keycloak to be able to add other IDP providers or identity providers, right? And so I'm going to show you uh, my screen right now. Um, I just finished installing the installer of Daytona. And when I was installing it up here, I chose GitHub as an identity provider, right? Um, and at the end, it gives me a Keycloak admin. This is my URL. These are the admins. Note, I will delete this afterwards, so uh, no worries on showing you the passwords here. Anyway, so if I go to cde.works, it's right here, you will see that there's only a GitHub login because I just because I clicked on GitHub as an ID, IDP provider when I was installing Daytona. And so just to show you that it works, I'll log in with my GitHub and I can create a workspace and only my GitHub is here. Also, if I go into my settings, I only have GitHub as a Git provider, right? All right. So now if we go back to uh, here and copy this URL, so copy this URL, uh, we get to the key cloak administration console, which we click on and we have to log in with the credentials that we were given at the install. Remember, if you're installing Daytona, that you absolutely have to save this in a safe place because you won't be able to recover this password. Anyway, username, admin, password, the one I just set, I'm not setting this password. Anyway, welcome to Keycloak's dashboard. Uh, the only thing you have to uh, be looking at right now is switching from master to default. That's the first thing. And then we move down to identity providers. As you can see, Daytona and Keycloak have come predefined so that you can add any Git identity provider. So GitLab, Bitbucket, Bitbucket Server, GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, and GitLab, GitLab Self-Managed. So all the Git repositories, be it on cloud and on-prem as well. And so I set up the GitHub right away, so that's already done, right? And so for this example, I'm gonna go through GitLab. And so basically what we do is we enter GitLab here. Here it is. And then we go into our GitLab. So basically you click on your profile um, right here, uh, then you hit applications, and then you create a new application. Create a new one, the name of the application will be CDE works as that is my URL. The redirect is from Keycloak. So I copy this over here, right here. And now I'm gonna have to define a few things. Uh, down here, what we have access to. So we need read-only access email to profile to open ID uh, to the user's personal information. Read access to user. Uh, allow endpoint access to repository, 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 and the read access to the API. Read access to the API. That's it. hopefully it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, and I save the application, right? And so now I have my callback URL, which I will copy and put into Keycloak. Oh no, I already did that, sorry. My bad. The application ID, which I copy, I'll put it here. This client ID, application ID, but same thing. Um, and here you can copy without seeing the secret. And I copy the secret and I paste the secret. After we've done that, we hit enable up here, and then we hit save down at the bottom, save. And so now when I go back to Daytona, let me log out real quick. As you can see, it's already here. Now I have GitHub and GitLab. And so I hit GitLab, um, it will ask me to authorize CD works to my account. I say authorize and it should magically work. Oh, interesting thing. Daytona already checked as my GitLab 
and my GitHub accounts are using the same email, my Gmail address, um, it will add, ask, can I connect the two accounts? And I will add to existing account. I then have to re-authenticate with the original one just to make sure that it's me. And I'll do that. And now I'm in. And as you'll see in the settings, I now have both GitHub and GitLab here. And when I go to workspaces, I hit create and I have all my GitHub and GitLab repositories. So that's it. That's a little how-to guide to use Keycloak as authentication provider for Daytona, but you can use it for anything else basically. And Keycloak supports not only Git providers, but basically all other types of providers in the sense of um, Microsoft, Gmail, uh, and all the others that you can possibly think of right out of the box. So Keycloak is pretty awesome. If you're thinking about uh, authentication, definitely check it out.